As a parent, there's nothing scarier than turning over the family car keys to a young teen driver. No matter how much time they've had behind the wheel, we're all concerned about whether they're prepared to drive on the road. Hi, I'm Jim Graham with Ford Driving Skills for Life. And I'm Nancy Kane with AAA. Parents have a lot to worry about, especially now as new teen drivers head back to school, car keys in hand. Just like that, good. First thing we'd like to talk about is when accidents happen. Most of us are aware that the deadliest time for teens is on weekend nights. In fact, many states have restrictions for driving after dark and the number of passengers and things like that. But what many don't know is that weekdays between 3 and 5 p.m. can be just as dangerous as weekend nights. In fact, a AAA analysis of crash data showed that the time between 3 and 5 p.m. weekdays is nearly rivals or is just as dangerous as weekend nights for 16 and 17-year-old drivers and their passengers. Well, that makes sense. If you consider all the things happening after school, teens are taking other passengers home in their cars. They may be texting, talking on the phone, maybe even eating something. They're excited to be out of school. Well, that's why, Jim, parents need to be more engaged with their students, especially now as more and more schools are either cutting back or eliminating driver's education curriculum. Parents really need to be engaged and help their students be better drivers. Well, that's exactly right. We've developed a program at Ford called Ford Driving Skills for Life that we encourage teens and parents together to get involved and use. We focus on four key elements that have been identified as causing over 60% of all vehicle crashes that result in fatalities. These four areas include speeding, spacing between vehicles, hazard recognition, and distracted driving. Jim, AAA totally agrees with you. You really need to limit distractions in your vehicle. That includes limiting passengers, no more than one, and preferably no passengers. Another important thing teens need to be aware of is they should not be texting. We like to say hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. You can't do that when you're texting. And don't forget one of the most important things to do is buckle up. You really always want to wear your seatbelt. As you know, teen drivers have the lowest seatbelt use of any age group. Nancy, what it really comes down to is concentration. All these distractions we talk about take away from the driver's concentration, whether it's texting, having multiple passengers, eating in the car, those types of things. You need to have your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road at all times. Teens really need to watch their parents, so parents have to be good drivers, be good examples for their teens. That's exactly right. If a parent texts, talks on a cell phone, does distractions, has distracted driving techniques, guess what? The teens are going to pick that up too. So parents need to be good role models. Well, you know, parents need all the help they can get with their new teen drivers. And we both, our companies have resources that can give you lots of information. At, at AAA, we've been involved in drivers training for decades. And we now have a website called teendriving.aaa.com that's got lots of information, both for parents and for new teen drivers. In addition to the great website AAA has, Ford also has a website available to both teens and parents. DrivingSkillsForLife.com provides all kinds of information for teens, parents, educators, anybody interested in saving teen lives. We have simulation games, we have all kinds of tips, videos. I encourage parents and teens to take advantage of that. So check out both their website. There's a wealth of information for everybody. And remember, driving is a privilege, not a right. And parents, be involved. Always be involved with your new teen drivers on the road.